All right, folks, I wanted to do a quick little video here. <clears throat> man, there's so many people out here. It's 100 and damn 16 degrees out here. And being out here working these streets out here on the strip out here in Las Vegas, it's very trying. You gotta have some tough skin. But I wanna talk about here something I've not seen it before. And probably I couldn't decipher it the way that I could now about like a week ago or so, okay? Maybe two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. It looks like at the preseason game, it looks like it was in Pittsburgh, okay? Because they have all yellow seats. I can't think of another uh, stadium like that, okay? That was all yellow. But I think it was in Pittsburgh. Correct me if I'm wrong, respectfully. There was a woman, okay? There was a little standoff. I don't know what was over. Okay, maybe over the game or whatever, who won or who lost, somebody got sore loser, sore loserish. And there was a lady, okay, that swung on this brother, okay. And basically, no, actually she pointed her, her finger in his face, okay, and I think he swatted away as, you know, to try to just to get her finger out of his face. So she violated him the first time. The second time she swung or whatever. And I think she, he, she swung again. The guy came, uh, or actually the woman's husband or boyfriend, and came and tried to restrain her as he was doing it. She swung again. And yes, he struck back, okay? Which, it was kind of like either way that he would have been legit, legitimate or whatever, okay? Because he has a right to defend himself. Now, he could have walked away, but either way, all right? But I think it was a reflex because as that guy was, you know, tried to break it up, okay, and I don't believe that he was uh, trying to do that. I believe he was trying to get a hit in or whatever and try to play it like he was breaking it up, okay? Then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, he uh, pretty much kind of pushed her in the face and she flopped, okay, tried to be the victim, okay, that she was wrong, okay, and then as she fell back, the guy tried to take a swing at, at, at him and he deflected it and end up popping his ass or whatever, okay, across the seat, all right? So, being that they started it, okay, kudos to that brother, okay? Ain't nobody got their, no right to be putting their hands on no damn body, okay? And I guess it's the police, okay, the police is investigating. If he was in the wrong, that brother's in the wrong, he would have already been arrested, okay? That would have been a done deal. They're talking about investigating, okay? So I guess it's either he's going to get a set, uh, some type of settlement, maybe try to avoid uh, a lawsuit, okay, when they're talking about the pending investigation. Take a look at the, the uh, video yourself if you get a chance or whatever, okay? Based off this, uh, the title of this video, that woman was wrong. Being that many women now, they think that they're empowered, okay, with this Me Too movement and all this other stuff, okay, this lesbian movement. Now you got women that are so bold that they think they could go walking up on men, swinging, okay, punching on men or whatever, okay, because they know that they got the media and the police or whatever behind their back. Not so, okay? Now, I understand that the guy was trying to defend himself, but I'm gonna say, if you're a man and you're in a situation like that, or I know there may be a time where, and I'm not trying to provoke, uh, promote any type of the, uh, domestic violence, yeah, it may have to be a time where you may have to defend yourself like that man or whatever. I'm just using that for an example. But that don't mean you just knock her over or, or him or whatever and beat the hell out of somebody, okay, gentlemen? Okay, the thing is you wanna get them off you or whatever, or you may have to protect yourself or whatever well, with self-defense, okay, especially if you feel that you being like overpowered, okay? But I do believe that it was a reflex. Actually, that was two on one. In a case like that, when it's two on one, two on one, yes. I mean, damn, somebody gonna be putting their hand on me or whatever, man or woman, the way he did or whatever, and that's just not gonna be good. And if I do, if I walk away, you best believe somebody's gonna get sued or whatever. If I'm in a good mood. But yeah, you talking about something disturbing, 